Good morning. This is Dr. B with uh, Dr. B Addiction Recovery. I just want to make a quick little video here. I got an urgent message from my good friend Nicole from Real Talk Recovery on YouTube. It's a wonderful channel. Subscribe to it. She's awesome. She's full of great information and support. But there was some concern that she had a sense of urgency. Apparently, there is a lot of stories going out there about just touching fentanyl, the stuff getting on your shirt or clothes causes overdose and potentially death. Apparently in multiple states, there's been reports that first responders, police officers got some of this stuff on their clothes or they touched it and they collapsed immediately. I do not know why they collapsed, okay? And the information is difficult to obtain. But I can tell you this, it is an absolute myth to the best of the medical world's knowledge that this stuff causes overdose in that way. Let me read you a quick uh, little piece here. It's a position statement by the American College of Medical Toxicology. Uh, they published this in 2017 and I quote, uh, it is very unlikely that small unintentional skin exposures to tablet or powder would cause significant opiate toxicity and if toxicity were to occur, it would not develop rapidly, allowing time for removal. Done. As an emergency room physician for many years, I can tell you this is silly to think that. Uh, number two, uh, let's get to the harm that this kind of information, misinformation causes out there. What you're doing by putting this kind of misinformation out there is putting another barrier to care of the addicted individual, especially in emergency cases where you need to have a rapid response in overdoses, and now you're gonna have people paranoid, and you're gonna have all kinds of rules set in place about putting barriers such as clothes, hazmat clothes, uh, gloves, when they just need a quick dose of Narcan to reverse the overdose. In addition, in the public's mind, it just puts another stigmatizing uh, negative connotation to the drug user that creates a barrier between the humanity between us as individuals. That's the second problem here. Number three, uh, this is just a small slice of the greater degree of misinformation, magical thinking, absolutely no respect for the truth of things that are out there and the veracity of the claims that are being made. It's just not true. And I don't understand why something like this would even get out there and be an issue of discussion. That's what I want to convey. Touching someone who has taken fentanyl, touching fentanyl with your skin should not be causing overdoses. Just think about it in this way. The pharmaceutical industries have this thing called the fentanyl patch. They spent millions and millions of dollars just to make this stuff absorbable through the skin in a very controlled manner. If it was that simple where it would be absorbed through the skin, they wouldn't have that mechanism of delivery, that whole machine and apparatus that you'd make into a fentanyl patch to get fentanyl in people's systems. And all of a sudden we go from that to touching a little bit of fentanyl or it being on your clothes causing overdose. I don't know why these police officers collapsed. I can tell you that it is highly, highly unlikely it had anything to do with the actual delivery, absor absorption, delivery, and toxicity of the fentanyl. Thank you very much. This is Dr. B with Addiction Recovery. I hope I can put some information out there that dispels this kind of myth that is just not true and it's toxic and dangerous and stigmatizing for the substance abuse population. Have a great day.